were followers of Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ said to the 72 when he sent them out, he said, go out and heal the sick who are there and tell them that the kingdom of heaven is near. And really that's what we're doing in terms of the, the praying on the streets. Whenever the team first went out, they perhaps lacked confidence, but in going out now, they're enthusiastic, they're united, and they know that God is working through them. They have people come back and report to them how God has brought healing in their lives emotionally, physically, and in many other ways, and glory goes to God. As Bangor Parish Church, we have street prayer every Wednesday morning, and we meet as a team at the church car park at half past nine. And then we walk down to the main street here in Bangor. We stand outside the Northern Bank, which is very visible and very open to, to the public. We set up our banner, which is very visible, as you can see. And uh, we meet together as a team just to pray on the street. And then we invite people to come over and begin to come forward for prayer. But we felt when we're doing it regularly, we do need to be very visible on the street. So we um, invested in the, the big banner. So that was a slight outlay of cost. Um, we also have a, a, a cost of producing leaflets, but apart from that, there's no cost involved at all. We just need a group of people who are really keen and committed, and off you go. That's all you need to do it. A lot of people are open for, for prayer in Bangor, and the longer that we are here, uh, the more open uh, the thing is, and people get confidence in us and uh, come for prayer. And when I, I was diagnosed with breast cancer last June, end of June, and I've been coming as much as I can just to, to update and for regular prayer. And I think really it, it's, it's helped me and that it's given me strength just to know that God's with me and God's going to carry me through. And it gives you hope just to know that there are people everywhere that are caring and praying for you as well, that you're not on your own and something really big in your life that's going on. And the point is that when it was first diagnosed, it was aggressive stage three cancer. And in all honesty, the, con the consultant did say that this could progress, but in fact, it didn't progress in any way at all. It stayed the same, but it's given activity, which is really great. Mm -hmm. It was hard coming out onto the street for the first time. In church, it, it's fine. You, you feel secure and you feel safe and you feel supported. But out in the street, it was really, um, yes, it was scary. But in saying that, the, uh, when, with, when I thought about self, that was me. You know, I thought, it's not about me. It's, none of this is about me. This is about God. And he will uh, take away all these uh, anxieties or fears or whatever nervousness even you know away from us and now it is just I feel it's just such a privilege and such an honor to do this for us as a team the most important motivation for doing this was that we got out of the church building and we got onto the streets and for me that's the overwhelming reason why this is worthwhile that we're making contact with people and we're seeing God working in people's lives and we take that as a blessing for ourselves back into the church and uh, encourages us to keep on doing this.